Let's do an experiment today. What I want to do is take a look at why you should grind your own coffee beans. And the reasons are really twofold. First of all, you're going to save yourself some money if you grind your own beans. And secondly, you're going to also get a much better result. So what we're going to do is first try some pre-ground beans. Then we're going to try just for fun some of these capsules. And finally, we're going to try some whole beans that have been roasted pretty recently with our own little grinder. Keep in mind that I'm going to put a link down below so that you can take a look at some grinders that I've used before and can recommend. So if you would like to check them out for yourselves, you can do that. Now, if you're getting any value from this video, please give it a like to push it up. Let's just go ahead and get started right away. We're going to start with this stuff here, this pre-ground coffee. And before I do get started, these are all from Lavazza and they are all medium roasts to try to make things as fair as possible. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this pre-ground Lavazza espresso. Now, what, when I say that you're saving money, this right here, 250 grams costs five euros. So multiply that by four, you're paying 20 euros per kilo. I got the other kilo, the whole beans for about half that price. All right, so what we're going to do is load up our portafilter with 15 grams. Fifteen grams. And what we're going to do next is do a little bit of WDT. So we're just going to mix up the grounds so that they are nicely distributed. We will give that a good tamp. And now this is the interesting part. We want to see how is the extraction. Uh, how much pressure are we going to get from these pre-ground beans? And what does the color look like? And how about the flavor? So let's take a look. All right, and what we're going to do is aim for a one to two ratio. So 15 grams in, let's go for 30 grams out. Okay, you can see we only get up to about four bars of pressure and it looks very dark coming out and it's already done so <laughs> you can see that was a pretty crappy extraction all right so you could see uh, the pressure only got up to four bars with that pre-ground coffee even though i had just opened it this package was opened up totally fresh and still we only got four bars and super dark and we got our extraction way too shortly let's see how it tastes pretty bad it tastes kind of just stale. It tastes a little woody and under extracted. It does not taste good. Let's try out the capsules. I'm quite curious if these are going to do any better. So these are also super fresh. Freshly bought them anyway. And uh, what else I'm curious to find out is how much is actually in here. So let's do that. The capsule itself weighs only 6.7 grams, so I'm guessing it's about five grams of coffee in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up one of these. Have you ever wondered what, what one of these looks like inside? We're gonna find out. Okay, that's what the coffee looks like inside one of these capsules. And 5.6 grams inside there. Second one. Let's see if this gives us any better results. 11 grams. I'm making quite the mess here. 12. All right, 15 grams. We're going to go ahead and uh, just to be fair, do the same process, the WD team. And I can tell already this looks less fine than the other uh, pre-ground espresso. So I have the feeling this is only going to give us maybe two or three bars of pressure. But let's see. All right, here we go. This is with uh, the capsule coffee let's see what kind of pressure we get and what the color looks like all right also get about four bars and we're already done that's not good either slightly less woody a little bit better extracted maybe but in general it's not that's not a good shot at all. All right, so again, you can see that was a crappy extraction, way too fast, 
way too little pressure. And that's what you can expect with coffee that's already pre-ground because first of all, it's not fresh. And secondly, it's been ground and you don't know exactly to what fineness. And as soon as you grind coffee, well, it loses freshness because it can oxidize more. When coffee is ground, more air can get to the surface area because the surface area of the bean has gotten much larger due to being ground. So now, for the last experiment, we are going to take this little handy dandy grinder, put 15 grams in there, and see what kind of pressure and extraction we get like that. So let's go ahead and uh, add 15 grams of these beans. And if you get them fresh enough, they'll work pretty well for you. I would recommend going to a local roastery and getting really some nice, fresh, locally sourced beans if your budget affords it. But if not, Lavazza will do the trick. Okay, so again, we've got 15 grams and I've got this Time More Chestnut Nano Grinder set at eight clicks. Good. Same process as before. We're going to put our grounds in there. And I can tell already this is going to be way better because it's ground fine and it's ground Mmm, fresh. Let's do a little WD team because it is in fact a little clumpy. And that is what the result looks like. It's a very fine grind. So let's go ahead and lock that in and see what the shot looks like this time. All right, here we go. Let's see what the shot looks like with our freshly ground beans. Okay, so the pressure is quite a bit higher. That is looking like, might be a little high. It's probably closer to yeah, 10 or 11 bars. So I could dial that down a little bit. But there we go, now we're at 30 grams. <laughs> so here you go, you can see this shot looks way different. That's what that looks like there. You've actually got a nice, nice layer of crema on there. So if you compare it, there's quite quite the difference. All right, and so how does this one taste? The freshly ground beans? Much better. That's velvety, that's well-rounded. That is an actual shot. A little bit of sweetness, and that's what you're going for. So that is why I really implore you guys to go out and get yourself a grinder. If you want to be economical, you can get yourself a little hand grinder or you can get yourself an electric grinder like a Sage Barista Pro or a Graf if you are in Europe or even a Eureka Mignon Manuela or Spezialita. Take a look and see if you can find something within your budget and start making yourself better espresso and start saving yourself money. Because if you grind yourself, you're gonna get beans cheaper on the kilo than if you buy it pre-ground. And you're gonna enjoy the process a whole lot more. And by the way, if you're curious, check out the links down in the description box down below. I'm gonna have some grinders listed down there that I've used and can recommend. So guys, I hope this video is helpful for you. And if so, please give it a like and check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking.